Akaraba in his uh, mixed martial art debut uh, had a no contest against Marco Silvera, which the fight was stopped too soon in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. There's Vernon Tiger White. And they reversed that decision, and he fought Marco Silvera in the finals of that same tournament, which happened in Japan. It was the UFC Japan, Ultimate Japan 1, and that was December 21st, 1997. So he fought the same guy twice on the same night. And that was how he made his mixed martial art debut. A no contest in the rematch. He arm barred the much bigger Brazilian. So we've got Vernon Tiger White coming out. Now he's got a two, oh, good low kick by Sakuraba. We don't know a great deal about Sakuraba. No, we, we have to find out. We have to find out. What, what, we what, do, what we do know that he arm barred a great big Brazilian out of Carlson Gracie's team. And that was impressive. That's what I just went. Oh, good that was left a, hand by Vernon White. And that rocks Sakuraba. Nice. Yeah, Fernand fought a lot of Pancras. I know him a long time, since day one that I was fighting in Pancras. I actually fought him also, and uh, but in 93, he fought his first match there. I was right there also. And uh, he's got a lot of experience, and this guy is getting better and better and better all the time. Because Vernon comes from a Taekwondo background, you've got to say that he would be dangerous standing up with the kicks. But on the ground, because, as you said, boss, He's fought a lot of, in Pancras, and for those who don't know what Pancras is, it's a hybrid wrestling style that allows palm strikes to the face and closed fist punches to the body. Vernon White has got a lot of fights in that style, and there's a lot of submissions, a lot of grappling, a lot of wrestling, and uh, my partner, Boss Rutten, was a three-time king of Pancras, so he knows a great deal about that. That's a lot like regular mixed martial arts or what we're seeing here, except in this fight, with Sakuraba versus Vernon White, you can punch with a closed fist at the face. Yep, that's the major difference. Also, oh, go for a hammerlock there, and nice. Vernon White pops out and sprawls back. Sakuraba going for a real good single there, getting the single leg. Yeah, Vernon is very flexible, very limber, and he he he, he, he escapes from impossible, pretty much impossible uh, situations. He's good. He should put his head down here. You don't want to be on the bottom of. Um, Sakuraba, because otherwise he's going to try to do that armbar again, like the same one as he did with Conan. I was right there, man. I was in um, the UFC Japan. That, and that was amazing because Conan weighed something like 260 pounds. Sakuraba weighed about 185, yep. soaking wet. And he got that armbar, and it was, it was in that rematch because the first fight, the referee stopped it too soon because Conan started to throw some punches, and, and Sakuraba shot it for a takedown. And the referee thought that he was dropping from the punches, but he didn't. Nope. And fortunately, it was reversed. Sakuraba came back. The, uh, the other contestant on the other side of the bracket was injured, so he couldn't continue. They put Conan back in with Sakuraba. He got the armbar. So here we are, Sakuraba on top. And it looks like he's in Vernon White's guard, or a half guard. Half guard, yep. So Sakuraba really, he's got a, comes from a pro wrestling background, being from this Takata gym, but Sakuraba is quite a bit more impressive than Takata or uh, Sano, who we saw earlier tonight with, against Hoyla Gracie. He's got the mount against Vernon White, who's a, a Pancrase veteran. I'm pretty impressed here. It is impressive. It is impressive. But Vernon looking is good. looking like he's going to go for an arm bar again. High mount. Oh. He, he oh. almost gave him the roll. He gave him nice. the roll. He got too high on the mount. Vernon standing back up, and Vernon is going to show what a striker does in this position. He lets Sakuraba get up. He could have kicked him. Yeah, but Vernon, he's a, a, too nice of a guy. He said, uh, and I'm telling you, he, he's getting better and better. And, but, uh, but Sakuraba's single leg takedown boss. Nice. Let's, let's see what he does now. Is it, there's, oh. Vernon's afraid of a knee bar because he's got his knee right up, and he's protecting it with the uh, other leg, probably an arm bar. What is it? Let me see. Sakuraba's okay. got some grappling skill. Oh, yes. He does. I mean, because the way he, the way he spins out of the, of the guard into the side mount, or actually he's, he's like half guard now, or half mount, but he's still on the side. He's very relaxed. He's probably a good wrestler. Yeah, that uh, right knee is taped up. Maybe he had a previous injury. Sakuraba did have a collegiate wrestling uh, background. Okay. So, so he does have wrestling skills but his submission skills or, or his ability to re refuse submission skills and go for submission skills like he was going for the arm bar 
and he, and he even had a triangle, but Vernon popped out of it. He popped out of it so quickly. Vernon, on the other hand, is really an exemplary grappler here as well. Oh. Getting guard there out of the side mount. Sakuraba mm, getting side mount nice. again. Nice. Nice little, oh, now Vernon turning. Uh oh, straight down, bar coming up. Oh, there we no. go. This is bad for Vernon. This is bad for Vernon. Vernon defending well. Oh, it's still looking good for Vernon. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Sakuraba good. is really, really impressing me here. Coming out of nowhere with two fights. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now he's fighting a guy, a pancreas fighter. Vernon gets out. Oh, Vernon. Vernon really fighting his way to get out of this armbar. Both hands clenched together. Knock his head off. Nice escape. A real rough and roll. Sakuraba giving his back to Vernon White. Is Vernon going to go for a choke here, boss? For sure he's going to go for a choke. Choke only he forgot to put the hooks in. So oh, he's got rolled now. Oh, oh, and now he's on the bottom. That was slick. Yep, he forgot to put the hooks in. Now, this is an awkward position. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Oh. This has been a really technical match, and oh, what, what, is Sakuraba going to go, go, gonna go for a toe hold there? Hold. Yeah, it looks like he's, he wants to but get a toe he, hold. But he'd be open for a strike there with, from the other leg in that position. We hear uh, Trey Tellingman talking to Vernon on the background. Trey Tellingman, another Lion's Den fighter who's experienced at mixed martial arts as well. Uh, Sakura with a knee on belly position. He's going to go for that figure four again, it looks like. What is he doing? Now, let me see. Yeah. Again, He's an arm man, an arm man, arm bars. He likes arm bars. Figure fours, reverse figure fours, and straight arm bars. That's what we saw from him now, until now. Well, right now, we're not seeing any strikes from Sakuraba at all. He's, uh, Vernon's in a perfect position to get hit by that right hand, but Sakuraba, <coughs> obviously, being from a wrestling and submission background, prefers to go for submissions. But Ver Vernon's wide open for punches. What do you say? Yeah, but I think it's like an, um, an, a, a code that's going on here because Vernon's not hitting him and he's not hitting, uh, and vice versa. So I think, uh, I think once somebody starts hitting, then the defense will come up. Well, it's kind of like the uh, Hoyler Gracie versus Sano fight. Uh, Hoyler started tapping him, but Vernon's not afraid to kick that knee, and that knee's got nice. some tape on it, so that must hurt. Uh, some nice kicks. Yeah, those aren't just real easy kicks, folks. No, they, 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 they have some power in them. Those are self-defense kicks, almost. Sakuraba working to pass the guard. And sneaking around into a side mount, almost. Uh-oh. He's going to go for a knee bar? Knee bar or arm bar. Not the arm bar anymore. It's... He might be looking at a knee bar here because he's got Vernon's left leg, but he gives it up because he knows Vernon's ready to counter. Oh, he's going he's for the arm bar. Oh! Sakuraba going for that armbar. Nice rolling, nice rolling. No, he doesn't have it. Vernon White's exceptional defense gets him on top. And now he's got Sakuraba's back again. Cross face right now, cross face, and, and, and try to get at least one hook in. Now, this is where strikes would help. They tell him to stand up. Hit him, hit him in the body, he says. Hit him. Oh, see, that's, that's what I mean. Oh, Sakuraba ducking under a, a faked kick, going for a takedown into Why? Vernon's Whites, almost into the guard. Yeah, that was not a good move. No, but both these guys, I think, are getting a little lazy right now. I mean, I, I don't... Yeah, there's some good advice from the corner. <laughs> to get him emotionally fired up. I couldn't have said it better myself, boss. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, probably for the American audience, they're going to bleep that one out. Not for video. Nobody hit me. Last one minute. Nobuhiko Takata looking on at one of his protégés, Kazushi Sakuraba, this time on top, all curled up like a pretzel. Who knows what anybody's going to try here? The pretzel move, maybe. The pretzel move. 
sometimes the double pretzel with the sugar on top, that's a very dangerous one too. Uh, yeah, but with, with the chunks of sh salt, I think is the best. Yeah? Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not kind of that. It's too devastating for me. Sakuraba is going for arms. He's an arm man. That's one thing for sure. See, one thing I like about Sakuraba is that he is, as you say, always going. He's always going for something. Now he's got the mount. Is he going to ground a pound? I don't think so. He hasn't really thrown a strike. Oh, oh he's going to throw the right hand? He should. Hey, you punched me? Now I punch you. We only punched him once. Okay, that's the end of the round. A almost like a grappling sparring match, boss. There wasn't a lot of tension in this fight, but it was very technical. Yes, sir. very I, interesting. I, I, this is what I like to see. You know, for for an aficionado of the sport of grappling, this showed all kinds of escapes, all kinds of positions. We saw the side mount. We saw the full mount. We saw a guy take a guy's back. We saw going for chokes, going for figure four foot locks, toe holds. We saw a number of attempts here. Two guys that really understand the ground game. The Lion's Den versus Takata Dojo. Picture there, Kazushi Sakuraba getting iced down. And here Sakuraba's going for that arm bar. And Vernon really had to fight his way out of this. But he did it very smart. He Beautiful. pushed the arm off, the leg off. Gets that head under the, the leg. He goes, Ooh. he doesn't slam him here. And he pushes the arm away. Second down. Round two. Let's see if they turn the heat up now. I'd like to see a little bit of passion out of these two guys. The first one was sort of ice cold technique. And now there's a strike. Yeah. Both men have the right foot in front, meaning they're both southpaws. Vernon White with a fake jab followed by another jab. Yep, feeling each other out now. I think there's respect here. I think both these men are thinking, okay, I have saw a lot of what he's got to offer me, but does he have more? Can't be sure. Don't want to make the mistake, which ends up in a submission or a knockout. Although I don't think a knockout's going to happen here. Both men haven't really shown strikes that would give me the clue that a knockout were coming. Although I know Vernon can kick. Oh, yeah, he can kick. He can punch, too. He can punch too. We saw like, him like that, right uh, there. landing that punch in the first round. That was a good right jab. Sakuraba shooting. And Vernon it's trying to pull him into guard, but Sakuraba gets had a, a side mount. It's, Sakuraba knows some good, has, he has some good wrestling skills. If nice takedowns. Vernon was uh, defending the other side, and then Sakuraba reversed it. It was pretty cool. Are we seeing uh, two different styles here? Is there a Pancrase style of grappling? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I, they, they've been around, and they do good in, in uh, mixed martial arts. But um, but is it a style? Is Pancrase a style? No. Just like, just like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a style? No. No, I don't think so. Because so many different, like, I know you grapple differently than, let's say, Vernon White does. So there's, there's all different kinds of styles of grappling within the sport of, of Pancrase. Yeah, but Pancrase, and, um, they will go more for submissions than striking, I guess. That's, but also Jiu-Jitsu, they say Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I think it's... They do like, the same. Oh, like Sak Taktaro said, it's, it's Jiu-Jitsu. And like, uh, he said, what do you do, a Russian Sambo? And Oleg said, I'm doing Sambo. There's no Russian Sambo, I'm doing Sambo. There's no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it's Jiu-Jitsu. Right. So, uh, and they, they adapt some things, and they, you got, of course, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu was different, but... Um, yeah, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, uh, or, oh, now there's nah, a strike. Here we go. Now, I think Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is different than Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, because Japanese Jiu-Jitsu is like a full karate system, which yeah. has got punches, kicks, and everything else. Oh, 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 what's he doing? He's, he's got the arm pretty tight, and he's got the foot where he's trying to buck uh, he Vernon's other hand away. He's, 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 almost got it. he's almost got it, boss, because Vernon doesn't have his two hands clenched together. He just has to keep hold, holding his uh, shin bone, the, the back of his uh, calf, and then it's okay. But if uh, Sakuraba can wipe it off like this... <laughs> But this is okay. Nice. S Sakuraba's got a, a little mouse under his right eye. It must have been from that jab of Vernon White because Janin, uh, Vernon has got a pretty decent jab there in that right jab. Okay, Vernon looks like he's going to punch. That was a good shot to the left or the right ear of Kazushi Sakuraba. Sakuraba doesn't want to stay here. He should, he should continue. Why, why doesn't he continue with strikes right now? Just keep hitting him. 
set up, you know, make. He's going for the choke here, yeah, but he doesn't I, have the hooks in. No, so Sakuraba can bring the, the oh, he's got one oh, hook one in. hook, here we go. Oh, the Sakuraba busting his way out. Sakuraba, a, a nice. Guy. Very beautiful. Sakuraba has got such a, a unique little style of staying in close in these little twists and turns. I don't think Vernon has dealt with a guy that has these little tricks in his flavor. Yep. Sakuraba is like a, a different flavor. That's why I asked about styles. Vernon is probably used to a certain style of grappling, but Kazushi Sakuraba is giving him different kinds of angles here. Yep. And his, his escapes are different. Yes, he's got good uh, prevent, preventing techniques too, you see? And because Keeps he, the elbow low, make sure that, uh, Vernon cannot catch the elbow right now. Uh, good escapes, good attacks. He's got tricks that Vernon may not have seen before. And, and he's got a real good single leg takedown. Let's see if he can make this into uh, uh, flip Vernon over. And one, one thing I like is that when he goes for the single leg, if he doesn't have it all the way, he relaxes his arms. He doesn't burn energy trying to grab it and, and muscle the guy. Like right there, he gave it up. He gave it up to take the figure four. He's going Look for this. Kimura lock. Uh, he's got his back to Vernon White. If Vernon gets that right hand open, he can throw the right hand and hit him, but Sakuraba trapping the leg. Sakuraba going nice. down. Oh, that was beautiful. And he escaped again. Vernon is doing a great job, too, in escaping all the submission attacks of Sakuraba. But if, if oh. There, oh, no. This is not... I, I think if there is a code about submissions over strikes, they might want to just break that code right now yeah. and let him fly because they're shutting each other down a little bit. Sakuraba is... Oh! Sakuraba's got moves. Beautiful. Look at this. What? It's kind of uh, complicated right now. <laughs> yeah, here we are in a, in a reverse pretzel. With salt and sugar on top. That's yeah. That's it. That's it. Right there. With a little lime on the side. Oh, knee bar, knee bar, knee bar. Yes. Sakuraba ducking down. He he just gives his back openly to Vernon White. He's not even afraid of the rear naked choke. Not even. No, but like I told you before, it's um, with the gloves. It's if you got a normal defense, it's very hard to choke somebody with the gloves. But he's got the hooks. He got one hook deep in. But Sakuraba's gonna roll out. Oh, but Vernon's got, he's got he's the, go uh, for it. he's got the right arm in. Oh, he's got it in, boss. Except for no, Sakuraba's got, my... he's got his, he's got his chin down, but still he can create pressure. Sakuraba spins up. Oh, Vernon knew he didn't have it. Vernon knows how to use his energy e economically. Yeah, it's because he's been in a lot of fights, and um, yeah. It, uh oh, straight down bar again. He's been in ten times as many fights as Sakuraba. But to me, this is about an equal match. Yep. I, I would have to Actually, say... Actually, uh, Sakuraba is attacking way more. Exactly. He's attacking more because he's got these weird twist takedowns that he, he goes for a submission and it turns into a takedown. And he's just got open uh, disregard for turning his back to Vernon White, and not even worried about an arm bar or, an, or a, 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 a rear naked choke. Last three minutes. Last three minutes. Three minutes left in this really, really highly technical and suburbly executed grappling match. Vernon Tiger White on top, Kazushi Sakuraba on the bottom. Oh, there he goes. He almost got that one. Put your hips down. Sakuraba moving forward. Whoa, nice. Double underhook. That's a good position for Vernon. Now he should knee him to the ribs. Get him on his back. If he can get him on his back right now, he can get, make get the a neck, neck crank. Exactly. He could get a neck crank if he got him on his back. But Sakuraba, he's got nothing doing. Stand up and knee him to the head or knee him to the to the ribs. To yeah. The ribs. Because if he can lock those hands, Sakuraba's smart by keeping it down low. Oh, he gives it up. Why? Oh, that was a good position. But Sakuraba kept so relaxed and down low. Yeah, it's strange. We should ask him uh, later on why he gave it up. Yeah. We're here live at Yokohama Arena. Stephen Quadros with my partner, Ooh. Boss Rutten. Good knee to the body. 
You see now, that's something that he should do way more. See how relaxed Sakuraba looks. Sakuraba going for Kimuras out of the... And Vernon chopping away to get out of it. Vernon started to punch away. He, I think he felt maybe that was going to lock. And he knew he had to punch. He had to break that code. He said, a little more, a little less punch, a little less punch. <laughs> okay, good sprawl there by Vernon. Vernon pulling guard. Sakuraba stacking up. Yep, off guard's going to be broken now. It's a very technical fight. Very, very good attempts, good defense. I think good up, escapes. up until this point, this is one of the most technical grappling matches up to this point that I've ever seen in mixed martial arts. Yeah, I think you might be right. I, I, can't, I can't think of another one prior to this fight that has been more technical. I mean, you've seen a lot of and participated in a lot of very technical matches, but boss, you were like the, the hammer in Pancrase. They were afraid of your strikes. And then you got good at submissions. Yeah. But this is highly skilled. Both of them. Good. Sakuraba loading up there with the right hand. <laughs> Vernon getting ready to scoop back. And that's a beautiful move by Vernon White, pulling out the back door. But Sakuraba could go for a, a footlock, but he doesn't. Vernon going for that choke again. But his legs have to be down low, and Sakuraba has turtled up his knees into his body. Wow. End of round two. An impossibly technical match. Both men really, really relaxed. It, it, it's funny because they, they, they look like they're not expending any energy at all, but they are. Yep. But it's in the ability to initiate attack and not expend energy at the same time that makes both these guys well above expert status at grappling. He's so relaxed, you know, that's also a key factor, the same that we saw with uh, Rose Marlin. They're so relaxed, and because of that, they, they have a lot of stamina, no stress. Okay, round three, now let's see, okay, this is the final round, they touch gloves. Let's see if we see strikes in this round, because the grappling, they've, they've basically neutralized each other. Yeah, for Verna to win, he should go for strikes. Because Vernon, the few strikes he, he's thrown, uh, he's created a little bit of a mouse. Oh, nice high kick attempt by Vernon Tiger White, but he slipped back. So now I think they're going to start getting down and dirty, folks. I think they're going to start going for it. I think all the code about straight grappling only. Sakuraba, Whoa. good kick to the body. was blocked by the arm shields there of Vernon White, but they're starting to let him fly now. But it's that jab of Vernon White. Yeah, that's the effective thing. He, Vernon's got a punch now. He's gonna go, they're really starting to chop now with the kicks. Both men coming out kicking. It's all about the mind at this point. Whose mind will win the fight? One man has to dominate the other in order to win. Nice. Oh. That was so tricky, the timing of that, because he waited till Vernon to get into a position where he looked like he's gonna throw a kick, then he shot in. Perfect. Looks like Sakuraba may be going for a knee bar, boss. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing, but he let it go. And I don't think you can uh, knee bar Vernon. Not easy. This is like a pancreas thing. They do a lot of leg locks. Pancreas, pancreas. yeah, a lot of leg locks. I mean, the, the pancreas fights I've seen, uh, Lots of leg locks. They actually took the heel hook out. Oh, really? Because the end, yeah, it's just too, too easy to hurt somebody? Oh, yeah. Everybody started uh, breaking their knees, shin bone. <laughs> Everything came along, and then they said, you know what? Let's get the heel hook out. Now, let's see what's going to happen here now. It's been a chess match. The whole fight. Okay, now listen to the audience. Yep. Or, the, or the lack of participation from the audience. In this fight, I think there's a level of appreciation from the audience. I know. Like it, uh, in all the other countries in the world, around the world, everybody knows better. So, um, do this, do that, do this, do that. Here, they just let the fighters fight. Okay, he's trying to That's put the double, back down, but, double, uh, double hooks to, to spring him back. 
Nice. That was on the top of the head. Verna has great defense from this for the strikes in this position, but nothing's going to happen. It's all up to Sakuraba. Sakuraba started to chop now with punches. And he got some solid striking. Sakuraba is probably going to go for that left arm in an armbar, boss. It looks like it, yeah. yeah it looks like he he's going for that left arm. He's, 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 I think he's going to have to set it up with strikes, so he can't just do it on straight grappling. If he just tries to out-grapple and work for the submission without strikes, it's going to be very difficult against Vernon Tiger White. Vernon has got too many answers to the questions Sakuraba is asking, so Sakuraba is going to have to dig into the striking tool bag and start softening him up with at least distraction punches. There it is, to the body. Now he's got that uh, right wrist trapped. Like he's want to go for a hammerlock. Kimura, you guys. Armbar. Oh. Oh. Vernon oh. pulled right into that and pulled out of it. Beautiful. A great escape by Vernon Tiger White. He was in potential trouble there. Beautiful escape. I'm telling you, this is a good match. I really think this is a good match for you and I and other aficionados and practitioners and fans of the sport, but to the general public, they may not understand this match. I know what you mean, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, they should. They, because the general public is going to say, well, wait a minute, these guys are just laying on the floor. They don't, they, don't know, they don't know what they're going for, but you and I being practitioners, we know at least that they're going for an arm bar or whatnot. But technically, you can't get much better than this. No. You really can't. And he escapes the Kimura again. It's, uh, he keeps escaping. I wonder how this is going to end. <laughs> Vernon has all but given up on ch trying to choke Sakuraba. All his attempts at choking were futile. Nobody's got to he never even got him in trouble. Last five minutes. Okay, five minutes left in the fight, folks. It looks like this fight might maybe uh, destined for a draw. If it keeps going like this, this will be a draw. Yeah, it has to be a draw because everybody, you know, they, they, they put equal amounts of <laughs> submissions in there. So it, it should be a draw right now. Okay, Sakuraba got the takedowns, but then Vern got the, the reversals, the escapes. He's got a few now, good shots. Now watch, watch when Vernon goes for that. Uh, now he's got a face crank here. But it's only going to cause Sakuraba to roll one way or another and get out of the technique. Always thinking. These guys are always thinking. Look how Sakuraba defends the move to where he's on top now. Sakuraba, his little moves, boss, yep. impress me so much. It's, it's, it's almost like it, no. it's, it's, gonna, it's almost as if Sakuraba instinctively knows which way to turn when Vernon tries something. Yeah, he's got some serious submission skills. And he really does. Wrestling skills, too. Well, you can tell that this guy has spent innumerable hours on the mat with, I, 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 if, if it's pro wrestlers that been, he's been grappling with, then I gotta say that they've been good teachers for him because yep. he comes from pro wrestling. Oh, oh, not good, not good. If he gets that leg over Vernon White's head, this is gonna be a tough position for Vernon. Ooh. Oh no, Vernon might have just rolled right into an arm bar here. Yeah. Sakuraba's got both legs in position. Vernon may be in trouble here. Vernon has got to really make sure. Oh, he's got yeah. it. He's, he's got, got the arm bar. He's Sakuraba. Oh my God! Out of nowhere, Kazushi Sakuraba wow. has submitted oh, Vernon Tiger oh, White with a straight arm bar. Out of nowhere, boss. Unbelievable. Bang, and there it was. He rolled, he rolled, he rolled. He kept going back to the well, kept going back to the well until finally, and he's got to be paying him tribute and respect here. He knows he was in with a formidable grappler in Vernon Tiger White. Vernon rolled, and it happened to be the wrong way on this particular juncture. Sakuraba locked it out, he got position. He didn't crank it hard, he didn't want to hurt the guy. Beautiful. He had the elbow on the right side, on the on the good side, that's what I mean, to finish somebody. My God, who is this guy? Kazushi Sakuraba coming out of nowhere. 
fighting two fights against the same guy in Silvera, and fighting Burning Tiger White, one of the top contenders in Pancrase, rolling around with him on the mat, slowly turning up the heat and arm barring him. Amazing.